Hello, it's um, Menace here. Sorry for the late interview. But I've been um, kind of busy and about doing stuff. But um, yeah, Alchemy versus Menace game. What can I say? It was a very, very, very good game. We've trained against Alchemy a lot. Um, we know what Alchemy are about. We know they're one of the legends of this league. And we always knew it was going to be a tough game. We always have a very, very tough game against them. But I do believe last season they did drop us off very well. I think they beat us 3-0 one, one of the games last season. So it was, this game was more about adapting and understanding Alchemy's playstyle. Which I believe I didn't do as well as I thought I did. But at the end of the day, he, he wasn't as clinical. Um... It was a very good game. He was all over me. Um, I cannot lie. I got absolutely dominated. And then, come to about the second half, I started to find my pace a bit more. Started to get used to his attacking patterns a bit more. And then, um, sorry, one second, I need to sneeze. <clears throat> yeah. So then, come towards about the 70th minute. Luckily, I had two strikers that were in form which was Enketia and Victor Ossenhan. Brought them on for Rebic and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And um, once again, Pez just shows the difference that an informed player can do for you. Brought on Eddie Enketia. His passing was sublime. Great through balls to get two assists. Just been promoted from the academy, so I'm really happy with that. And Ossenhan, the first finish, great finish. But like I said, with Alchemy, if, if he wasn't in such high form, I don't believe that finish from a player like him would have went in. So, even though we got the victory, I kind of feel like Pez got the victory. Um, on the behalf of the lag, I wasn't experiencing any lag. I did see one or two lag bars. That's why I was happy to pay the, the lag fee. I did see it, but the, first, the ones I saw was when it was a kickoff, so neither of you were actually playing the game at kickoff, and then another one was during the celebration. So it wasn't as if it was during the game affecting us. But then when I watched Alchemy's video on the game, um, yeah, it seems like as if he had little jitters, like in his game, like he was like it was weird. I've never seen that before. But I don't believe that's from lag, because if that is from lag, I would receive it as well. There would have been more lag bars. I think that's actually from his PlayStation, because it was actually generally his own jitters. Like, it, it wasn't actually, like, there wasn't like, uh, like his game was getting stopped or anything like that. It was just like a flicker of like, I, don't, I can't even explain it if you watch his. But if I was to show my clip, it's completely, it's very different. So, um, yeah, and when I played Alchemy, there was no lag. So I believe the Jitters, not Alchemy, sorry, when I played Genesis, there was no lag. So I think them Jitters are generally actually his PlayStation. Um, but apart from that, it, like I said, it was a domination by Alchemy. He was very, very unlucky to beat me. Um, I reckon he got done over by Pez, not me, to be honest. And um, it's a shame, but good game to 